Time now for our Postville Coach Conversation with Head Coach Kevin Johnson. And Coach, going back to last season, a 4-5 and five record, but it was the uh, best record for the program in six seasons. What do you look to build off of uh, last year as you start the 2020 campaign? Yeah, coming into last season, uh, we set some pretty high goals to try to turn this program around and get us heading in the right direction. Um, and, you know, we're – going to try to continue to build off of that in this uh, 2021 season. Um, you know, we only lost four seniors in the off season, so we have a good core group coming back and uh, they're going to lead us into this year. Being the fact you got so many kids coming back that got uh, all that uh, experience last year, how confident are those kids knowing the fact that they uh, can go out there and do the job? Well, I think last season um, the kids proved to themselves that they can be successful. Uh, that all their hard work they put in on the field uh, does pay off on Friday night. And they started to believe in themselves. And I think that that's going to carry over to this year. Uh, we have a, a strong group of seniors, 10 kids coming back. Uh, nine of those were starters last year. And we just, we have really, you know, high hopes for them this year. With the way the world is, how has preseason camp uh, been different uh, this year than years past? Uh, it's definitely been different. Um, you know, the concerns are different having the kids come back this fall after not having any classes or really any interaction with their friends for the last five months. Um, that's been different. Uh, as far as the game, as far as practices, uh, we take more breaks. We're always sanitizing uh, we're social distancing, which is um, kind of goes against the nature of football because football is all about contact and huddles and everybody getting together. Uh, so we're trying to adapt to it. Um, but I think we're doing a good job with it. But the mere fact that there is activities going on, schools back in session and everything like that, does that uh, maybe kind of put in the kid's mind that uh, away from the school setting and away from the football setting, I better watch my P's and Q's to make sure that uh, this thing can continue? Uh, yeah, that was the topic of the day yesterday, which was our first day of school. Um, you know, we got to get back into, you know, student mode. Um, a lot of these kids, we went online that fourth quarter, um, so they kind of shut down and, um, you know, going into this first quarter, it's important that they put their academics first and, you know, get the behaviors in line and kind of fall back in so we can stay, you know, eligible and successful. No matter what happens during the regular season, you will get a postseason chance uh, with the new schedule set up by Iowa High School football this year. Does that maybe change the approach to the season? Maybe you don't have to put so much pressure on your early season games. You can actually take it week by week and build from there. Uh, I think the state did a good job with giving schools flexibility. Um, you know, not forcing kids to come out and play if they were sick. Or if they, you know, if a program had to shut down for a week or two, that wouldn't hurt against them. Um, you know, the coaches association has been urging for a 32 team playoff for the last couple of years. And, you know, this will be a good experiment this year, putting all the teams in the field and, you know, see, see how it works out as far as, uh, you know, fairness and competition. When you look at uh, week one, uh, how do you approach week number one? How much scouting do you do for uh, Seminar Fredericksburg? How much of it is just worrying about uh, what you guys can do and uh, what you need to improve on? Well, I think that first week, honestly, you might over scout it. Um, we've been sitting here thinking about this first game, this Sumner Fred game for, you know, over a month now, looking through the film last year. I've, you know, me and my uh, assistant coaches have watched hours and hours of film. Um, but I think that first game, it just comes down to the jitters. Um, everybody's going to be nervous and the team that settles in first and, you know, can just do what they do best. Um, they're going to be successful and I'll oh, go ahead. And uh, Sumner Fredericksburg is your opponent uh, this week. What challenges do they present? Well, last year we started the season off with Sumner Fredericksburg also, um, we went down there and like I said before, we were nervous. We did not play our game. We turned the ball over four or five times in that first half. Um, I know Sumner Fred and Coach Coyle down there, they're gonna have their kids ready to play. Uh, they play physical football. They can uh, run power on you right up the middle and they can also spread the ball out and got some good skill players. So uh, on defensive side, we're really gonna have to, you know, make sure we, we uh, do our fundamentals, tackling, 
um, and know our assignments. And then on the offensive side, we'd like to run the football. Um, that will open up the passing game for us. All right, Coach, we appreciate the week one preview. Keep your kids healthy. Best of luck to you Friday night. All right, thank you. Go Pirates. Kevin Johnson getting a Coach Conversation from the Postville Pirate perspective for week number one.